This is five HTML tips for CAT students in under two minutes. So let's get going. First, HTML tip number one, the basic structure. You normally have your tag and your closing tag, but then if you're going to put an attribute, the attribute must go inside the opening tag. So it goes over there in the first tag. And then you have your attribute is equal to a particular value. Remember, your value must always be in double quotes. So for example, you've got your paragraph tag and the align attribute is equal to the left value in double quotes. And don't forget that closing of the P tag. HTML tip number two, colors must be in one word. So when you're referring to a color, the first thing to note is that it's not British spelling. So there's no U in color. And then any reference to a color name must be in one word if there is a space. For example, light pink will not work, but if we make it light pink without a space, then it will work. Same applies, for example, sky blue or lawn green. Then HTML tip number three, an ordered list. Whenever you use an ordered list, the type is the first option in the ordered list. So for example, if you've got a list where you wanted to have no numbers like one, two, and three, the type will be the first number that you want, in this case, a one. If you wanted an ABC in capitals, your type will be a capital A. If you wanted Roman numerals, but in small letters, your type will be the small letter R. Then HTML tip number four, the title tag is the only tag we use in the head property. So you've got your head tags and then your body, everything goes in the body. The only tag that you use in the head tag is the title tag. Everything else must be used in the body tag. Then HTML tip number five, if you're using Notepad++, use it to help you. For example, over here, if you click on H1 tag in line eight, you'll notice that it goes purple. That tells you that the tag closes over there and you can see it very clearly. If it doesn't go purple, that means you've left out the closing tag and then the other tip that it gives you is when you're using attributes, the attribute is normally in a red color if it's spelt correctly. If you miss a spelt line, it will not go red. Then you know you've made a mistake. And that has been five HTML tips for CAT students in under two minutes. For more tips on Access, Excel, Word, as well as HTML, make sure that you go to our YouTube channel at Miss Long RT and CAT. Click on the subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.